वेलकम माई डियर मैं गॉड ऑल माई टी ब्लेस यू एंड रिवॉर्ड यू फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग एंड एनकरेजिंग अदर्स टू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड फॉर लिसनिंग एंड शेयरिंग दिस वीडियो let us begin this reflection with a short prayer please join me oh god i want what you want because you want it as you want it as long as you want it i beg you to illuminate my intellect to inflame my will to purify my body and sanctify my soul Amen. My dear, Jesus came on this earth on a mission. In John 15:15 Jesus said, "I have told you whatever I have heard from my Father." Understandably, this was one of his missions. Moreover, Jesus adds in John 16:33, "These things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation." Here in this verse Jesus has stated two realities one in me you may have peace two in the world you will have tribulation these are the two possibilities before every human being of these two it is up to each one to choose what he wants man is totally free and at the same time responsible for his actions therefore not only that one cannot escape the responsibility for one's actions but also that one cannot avoid the consequences of such actions actions are of great importance that is why jesus said in matthew 25 40 then he will answer to them truly i say to you as you did it to the least of my these brethren you did it to me this is an example to show how one has to receive the consequences of his actions before god represented by the king in the last judgment and narration given by jesus one is held responsible for what he did and for what he did not do actions determine the destiny of man either to be enjoying in the heaven or to be suffering in the hell again the choice is left to each individual our thoughts are decided by our belief system belief system comes from what we hear again it is up to each single individual to decide what to hear and what not to hear and thereafter to put his faith in what he heard so it is from what is heard a belief system gets formed from there flows our thoughts thoughts create actions for example in our place once a man was hit by a bus and died on the spot later when his son who was an infant at the time of his death was growing up someone showed him the bus which killed his father when he became a boy of 5 years old he insisted with his grandfather to buy him a toy gun his grandfather who wanted to fulfill all his desires bought one for him after 3 days the boy also got killed by the same bus because he jumped into the middle of the road in an attempt to kill the driver with his toy gun this is to show how our thoughts create actions because actions is the outward expression of the inner thoughts repeated actions become a habit recently somebody was telling me that if a bad action is repeated thrice just so three times it becomes a habit whereas to make a good habit one has to repeat the action at least for 21 times he elaborated this thought saying that if you take drugs thrice you are already addicted or hooked and it becomes a habit but only if you pray regularly 
without break at least for 21 times then we can say praying has become a habit this goes to show that it takes a long time to make a good habit when someone persists continues in a good habit it has all the possibility of becoming a character a child who was not corrected for stealing develops a habit of stealing which then makes his character as a committed thief moving further ahead it goes without saying that character determines the destiny of a person this is the natural process that a human being goes through knowingly or unknowingly listening the word of god is the starting point from where the belief system begins for example mary the mother of jesus received the words of annunciation through the our archangel gabriel mother mary kept all what she heard from god in her heart and put her faith on them making it her belief system for the rest of her life that created thoughts of love in her and as a consequence she immediately went to elizabeth her auntie who was in her sixth month of the pregnancy elizabeth was in her old age and then she was in need of help which mother mary rendered she devotedly took care of her till the birth of her son john the baptist similarly after jesus was born it became mary's habit to look after her son through his life and that became her character of accompanying her son especially in times of difficulties which culminated in her presence on the way to calvary to console and encourage her son in carrying out the divine mission mary was present under the cross when jesus told john this is your mother making her to be the mother of humanity finally she received the body of jesus from the cross without forgetting how she had presented him in the temple 33 years ago this merited her the title co-redemptress that in the end made her destiny where god accepted her as queen of heaven the faith journey of blessed mother therefore began with the receiving of the word of god through the archangel and ended up in her coronation in heaven which was her destiny we find almost the same with all the apostles who heard the word from jesus directly and put their faith on it and thoughts occurred based on that what they heard and from there flew the action of following him in a habitual manner which formed their character as apostles and finally reached their destiny of receiving eternal reward in heaven through their martyrdom jesus commanded his disciples to go and proclaim the good news saint paul speaks of preaching the word of god in time and out of time in season and out of season in place and out of place preaching the word of god is like a sowing it may fall on the wayside among the thorns or on the good soil but it is the duty of every baptized to preach the word of god my dear friend now have you heard the word of god have you put your faith on it has it become a part of your belief system does it create thoughts for you does your thoughts help you in your actions does your action get transformed into a habit will your habit establish your character will your character guarantee you a good destiny let these questions linger in your mind remember that you are alone in your journey no one can accompany you it is only an illusion if you feel or think that you are are accompanied by many including your own family members your position and possession cannot help you or accompany you if there is any doubt about it please verify it from people who are struggling to survive on the ventilators they will tell you the truth there is only one person who is always with you he is jesus he is the only person ever lived on this earth who said i will be with you till the end of times 
he is the only per a person ever lived in this world who said i will never forsake you he is the only person in this horizon who said come to me i will give you rest here i am not saying anything new to you my dear but only reminding you in the name of god that you still have a choice the journey to a good destiny can only begin with the hearing of the word of god now it depends on your decision if the starting point of this process is belief then you must examine what you are believing in jesus said in john 14:1 let not your heart be troubled for you believe in god believe also in me but to reach this point we need to know what is the necessary step prior to that the psalmist has put it very simply in 119 105 thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path this is the best clue let the journey of man from belief to destiny begin with the word of god i have already explained how this process begins with the word of god and ends with a good destiny the kingdom of god by citing the example of blessed virgin mary and the apostles following their good example we too can hope to get the eternal reward in the kingdom of god what you are is god's gift for you and what you become is your gift to god if everyone in your family accepts this and then tries to become a good gift for god then your entire family will be a good gift for god if all the families desire likewise then it will make a good church that is how we can rebuild the church again please join me in my prayer for you let us pray oh god grant your child this listener the humility to be obedient to your commands the courage to be a witness of your son jesus and the desire to bear the fruits of the holy spirit lord jesus bless your child this listener to be faithful to the church and give success in defending her effectively oh holy spirit kindle in your child this listener the fire of faith in one creator god in one savior jesus in one holy catholic and apostolic church and in universal brotherhood let your child be blessed and pro- be protected from all evil with the intercession of mary and joseph amen now my dear i give you my apostolic blessing may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit it is good to listen to these talks one in the morning and another in the evening it is like an ongoing faith formation and a soft spiritual but short retreat wish you all the good things in life yours in the mission of the church bishop franco molakel